Enemy of the State stars Will Smith and Gene Hackman, and the plot of Enemy of the State, Will Smith plays a lawyer in this movie who accidentally receives important information of a serious political crime that happens earlier on in the movie thanks to one of his old friends who later dies and he is now pursued by a corrupt politician and his NS NSA cohorts trying to get said information and basically trying to kill him in the process and it's up to Gene Hackman's character to help him get out of this sticky situation because he also thinks he has information on him as well. This is a bad ass movie right here. I fucking love this movie. I remember my uncle going to take us to see this movie and I'm like, wait a minute, Will Smith is in an R-rated movie? That was kind of, that was shocking to me. It was weird to see Will Smith in an R-rated movie not knowing he had one before this movie. I forgot what it was called, but it was in the early, early 90s. I think as soon as Fresh Prince started, I might have to review that movie as well. But, uh, yeah, so I think this was his second R-rated movie. Yeah, I think it was. But damn, what a great movie. What a fucking great movie. The suspense in this movie is awesome. The acting, uh, the acting cast is spectacular. From fucking Jack Black, Seth Green, John Voight. Fucking, uh, I know I'm missing somebody. I know I am. Regina Hall, uh, lots of fucking faces, man. It's crazy. Jack Black went on to have an okay career. Seth Green kind of disappeared after Robot Chicken. Um, yeah. Will Smith, though, just, just awesome in this movie. Gene Hackman is badass, just blowing up F-bombs like crazy. I've never seen Gene Hackman do that many fucking F-bombs in a movie before. That's awesome. Even though he's kind of old in this movie, so that's even more awesome. He's just an old, grumpy-ass old man. <laughs> now he disappeared from making movies. Where the fuck are you, Gene? The fuck are you? You need to come back, man. You need to fucking come back. Um, I'm not... Oh, I think this is a... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this movie is directed by uh, the late... Oh shit, Tony Scott, if I'm not mistaken. But they had Jerry Bruckheimer and Don Simpson producing this movie. Awesome trio of people to make this movie because they can go no fucking wrong, okay? And theoretically, this movie is now owned by Disney because Touchstone is a Disney company. Wow, that's funny. That is funny to think about. Hell, you can even find it on Disney Movie Rewards. Yeah. That's, that's weird, right? <laughs> but, again, the suspense is great. The action is nice. I love the action in this movie. It is so down to earth. It is so weird to see Will Smith in this type of a situation that he can't really get himself out of because he's not like a... He's not made to get himself out of the situation. You know, like he's not like a cop or anything like that. He's just a lawyer. You know, he's just a lawyer caught up in a very bad situation. That involves him, his wife, if I'm not mistaken, and his son. His two sons. Oh, no, his one son. The other boy was his, his son's friend. My fault. And, uh, yeah. Just trying to blend into regular society while trying to figure out exactly what the fuck is going on here. But when that, the execution of it is pulled off, it is amazing because it also involves... If I'm not mistaken, the FBI that were spying on this restaurant across the street where he was talking, doing business with this guy a week earlier. I do believe this all takes place a week later. Or at least it ends a week later, if I'm not mistaken. Because I remember the when he brings them back to this place, the people were like, Hey, isn't that the guy from last week? I'm like, it's been a week? That was a week? Shit. Two and a half hours and I'm like, damn, it was only a week? Wow. That's awesome. Kind of. Overall, Enemy of the State is badass. I love this movie. It's such a good 
thriller. They just don't make it like these anymore. And I love the ending. The ending is awesome. That has like the one of the best type of standoffs you can have. And it's now that I'm older and I see how they actually did it. Because I remember watching this movie in theaters when I was a kid. Because at the time I was going, I was what? Was I nine when this movie came out? Wow. No. I was... This was 1998. I was 11 when this movie came out. Oh, shit. So, watching it now as an adult, and actually getting what the hell's going on, it makes it makes the movie a much better, better experience. But I will give Enemy of the State an A-. minus. Let me know what you guys think about Enemy of the State down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What is your favorite thriller. It could be a political thriller. It could just be any type of thriller. But like, more of a down-to-earth thriller like this. Not like a crazy over-the-top one. Let me know down below. Catch you